In this video, what I want to do is to show you how to determine whether a point lies inside, on or outside of a circle. And the way to do it is to substitute the points, the coordinates, into the equation. That's really the easiest way. So, if we start with minus 3, 1, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the x for minus 3 and the y for 1. And just look at the left-hand side. So, looking at the left-hand side, we have minus 3 take away 2 squared plus 1 take away 4 squared. Okay? So we get minus 3 take away 2, so that's minus 5. So minus 5 squared is 25. Plus 1 minus 4, that's 3, a uh, minus 3 rather, square it is 9. So that's 34. Now that's clearly greater than 29. Okay? And if you get a, num a value that is greater, then minus 3, 1 lies outside the circle. Okay? So we definitely know minus 3, 1 is outside. If I then look at 7, 3, using exactly the same process, 7 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 4 squared. So we get 7 minus 2, that's minus 5. Oh, sorry, that's 5. Squared is 25. 3 take away 4 is minus 1. So minus 1 squared is 1. So that's 26. That's clearly less than 29 this time. And if it's less than, it is inside the circle. <coughs> so it makes sense that the value that you get, if it's greater than, will be outside. If it's less than, will be inside. And subsequently, if it's going to be equal to, it'll be on the circle. So if we look at the last one, minus 3, 6. So looking at the left-hand side... Minus 3 take away 2 squared plus 6 take away 4 squared. So minus 3 take away 2 is minus 5 squared is 25. 6 take away 4 is, minus, is 2, sorry, squared is 4. So we get 29, which is equal to the right hand side. So because we get exactly the same value. So in, in other words, if I substitute the coordinates in, the equation is satisfied. <coughs> These coordinates must be on the circle. OK? <coughs> so greater than is outside, less than is inside, and equal to is on the circle. 